As you may already know, BitLocker is enabled by default when you install or reinstall Windows 11 24H2. While it boosts security, it can affect your SSD's performance. In today's video, I'll show you several ways to disable BitLocker in Windows 11. Let's get started. Before disabling BitLocker, you need to unlock your drive if it's encrypted, using a password or recovery key. If you are not sure how to find your recovery key, then check out the link in the description below for a step-by-step -step guide on finding your BitLocker recovery key. Or for the easiest and quickest method, let's use ESA's Partition Master. First, open ESA's Partition Master, then right-click the encrypted drive and choose BitLocker Manager. If you don't have your password or recovery key, click Find BitLocker Key to automatically locate it. Once the drive is unlocked, you are ready to proceed. Method 1. Use ESA's Partition Master to turn off BitLocker encryption. ESA's Partition Master simplifies the process significantly. You should just follow these steps. First, launch ESA's Partition Master, then right-click the BitLocker encrypted drive and select BitLocker Manager. Then click off to disable the encryption. ESA's Partition Master handles the decryption process for you, ensuring a smooth experience. If you prefer using built-in Windows tools, here are some other effective methods. Method 2. Use Control Panel First, go to the Start menu, open Control Panel and navigate to System and Security. Then click on BitLocker Drive Encryption. Select Turn off BitLocker. While the Control Panel method is convenient, some users might prefer a more technical route. Let's examine how the Command Prompt can help disable BitLocker encryption. Method 3. Use Command Prompt Open Command Prompt, right-click to select Run as Administrator. To unlock a BitLocker encrypted drive, type manage bde dash unlock drive name dash recovery password or recovery key. Replace the drive name with your drive letter and recovery key with the actual recovery password. Command Prompt is a powerful tool, but if you'd like an alternative, PowerShell provides another effective method to turn off BitLocker. Method 4. Use PowerShell Run PowerShell as an administrator. To disable BitLocker, just type Disable BitLocker dash mount point X. Now replace X with your drive letter. And that's how simple it is. Method 5. Use System Configuration First, press Win plus R to open the Run window. Type Misconfig and press Enter. Now go to the Services tab, uncheck BitLocker Drive Encryption Service. Click Apply and restart your computer. BitLocker will be disabled on the next boot. Some users might prefer a registry-level approach to disable BitLocker. The registry editor provides this capability with a few simple steps. Method 6. Use Registry Editor First, search for Registry Editor in the Start menu and open it. Now navigate to add a new D word value, name it Prevent Device Encryption and set its value from 0 to 1. Now click OK and BitLocker will be disabled. Method 7. Use Group Policy Editor This is another method to disable BitLocker and all you have to do is open the Group Policy Editor, double-click the Control Use of BitLocker on Removable Drives option. Now select Disable option and click OK. Method 8. Use Windows Services This is the last method that I would be teaching you to disable BitLocker. First, press Win plus R together to open the Run window. Type services.msc and press OK. Then double-click the BitLocker Drive Encryption Service option. Set the startup type to Disabled and click Apply. Restart your computer. ESA's Partition Master simplifies disabling BitLocker with its user-friendly interface and one-click operation. It automates the decryption process, reducing errors and ensuring data safety. It also offers a centralized BitLocker manager, which makes the task efficient. Tips for pre-installing scenarios Tip 1. Using Rufus to create a bootable USB with BitLocker disabled If you haven't installed Windows 11 yet, you can use Rufus to create a bootable USB with device encryption disabled. Check the description for a detailed tutorial. Tip 2. Turning off BitLocker during Windows 11 installation You can disable BitLocker during the installation process by accessing Advanced Setup Options. More details are provided in the video description. And that's how you can disable BitLocker in Windows 11 using different methods. If you found this guide helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. For more tech tips, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching.